Hello everyone. So there's this report here, Sahara Reporters, and it's breaking just about an hour ago that Sahara Reporters put it out. It says Nigerian police detained very dark man after honoring invitation in Abuja. Although very dark man's offense was not known at the time of filing this report, his lawyer, Deji Adeyonju, said he was detained after he honored a police invitation. The Nigerian police force on Thursday evening detained social media influencer Martins Ose, popularly known as Very Dark Man. Although Very Dark Man's offense was not known at the time of filing this report, his lawyer Deji Adeyonju said he was detained after honoring a police invitation. Why do Sahara reporters always repeat word for word the same thing immediately after? I'm reading it in my head. I'm always like... In his post on X on Thursday, Adeyonju disclosed that his client had honored a similar invitation on Wednesday. By the way, uh, on Saturday, 5 p.m. Nigerian time, Live with Aisha is going to happen and Adeyonju is going to be our, our guest. So, it might be an opportunity for you to ask him uh, on this. His post read, our client... VDM, that's very dark man, has been detained after honoring a police invitation just like yesterday. VDM has been consistent in stating that the Nigerian police are our friends, even when we all know they are not. Sahara reporters had reported that uh, very dark man tendered a public apology to the Nigerian police force for using police uniform in a viral video where he described himself as CSP of an online division. Very Dark Man made the apology in a post and, and video he posted on his S account after he was grilled by the Nigerian police on Wednesday for alleged impersonation. The social media influencer professed unawareness of the protocol, stating he didn't know police permission was required to wear police uniform or other similar uh, ones. He therefore cautioned fellow content creators to obtain necessary clearance from law enforcement before using similar uniforms for content purposes. Sahara reporters had also reported that the Nigerian police for strongly condemned the unauthorized use of official uniforms and uh, accoutrements. What, what does that word mean? Accoutrements by, I hope I pronounced that right, by content creators while referring to very dark man's case. You know, let me just even stop here and see what kind of nonsense is going on in this country with all the wahala that we have in this country. Why is the Nigerian police focused on sh chasing shadow? Why is the Nigerian security agencies focused on majoring in the minor? So what is it if they wore uniform, they call themselves whatever, however. I saw that, I saw that, I think I saw a glimpse of that video where he had worn a uniform that looked like police uniform and what, what, what have you. Why is he even telling them that he didn't know that they need permission? Which permission is supposed to be needed from them? Yes, there is acting, there's whatever. And people act, people do this thing. What permission are you supposed to get because you, you wore something that looked like the Nigerian police, whatever. There are costumes, there are things they call costumes. So I, I even wonder why he's even agreeing to the fact that, oh, he didn't know that permission needed to be asked and then you're coming to court. Because these people, the moment you admit them of guilt, the moment you let them know that, oh, you're guilty of something or whatever, it, it enters their head and then they will just start behaving in a what is odd? Is this what the Nigerian police at this stage in our in our lives, in our country's life, that the uh, that the Nigerian police should be focusing on? Is this the issue that is supposed to be the issue? With all the problems we have. <laughs> Why is it said that in an, an investigation into very dark man's video? had been launched to determine the source of the uh, police gear used, as well as the authority under which he acted, the force dissociated itself from the unauthorized portrayal. Also in 2022, the police expressed concerns over individuals, uh, movie makers and skit makers using police uniforms and accoutrements without approval. This word, accoutrement. Let me let me go and find out what does it even mean. Okay. Every day we lay. It says it is uh, paraphernalia, 
an additional item of dress or uh, equipment additional items of dress or equipment or other items carried or worn by a person or used for a particular activity or paraphernalia that's what it means all this big, big english you know that they are speaking but it's just to say is this what the police is is focused on right now i'm just trying to So I think uh, what, what would happen Anyway, sure. That one, that's where he's a bit. I don't even know why he was admitting to that their whole thing. That's what they will look for. Then that's what they will now use and be saying that, oh, they've done this thing. There's something called costume. People can wear costume and whatever. You go and do your thing. Why is the Nigerian police even afraid of people wearing their uniform or whatever? Is it because, uh, oh, that they say they are always portraying them in bad light? If you people do the right thing, will they portray you in bad light? Instead of you being angry that there are skit makers or whatever that wear your uniform and then will be doing things like coll collecting bribe, why are you not angry at your people who are actually using that uniform that they are wearing with the name of Niger Nigerian backing it and they are using it to collect bribe and do all sorts of things? Mm -hmm. why is that not angry you more than any other thing but, but the Nigerian police just likes majoring you know in the minor and just focus on things that really shouldn't be the case but anyway eh. <laughs> I don't even know that Nigerian police eh, they, re they need serious reform honestly serious re reform need to be done in in that days but anyway like i said earlier on saturday live with aisha is going to start off all over again remember we used to do it where we used to bring guests and speak it's back again every saturday 5 p.m nigerian time west african time by the grace of god we'll be bringing in a guest and we'll be talking about topical issues uh in nigeria our first guest uh for now that we are starting is actually comrade deji adeyonju the lawyer uh for a very dark man and also the lawyer for the bold man that was assaulted by uh do you know who i am house of rep member so thank you so much for watching bye